so hello everyone in this video I'll be telling you how you can make use of this add button right now we have hard-coded this list but I want uh, to type the title of my task and the description and then if I click on this add button then it should populate this UI so how can I do that actually so that we'll be doing in this video let's start that so for doing that actually you have to go to your visual studio code in here first we have to create one uh, state array which will contain all our to do list items so i can create all to do's and i can set it as all to do's and i can use this as use state and an empty array then after that i can use new title state in which i will be setting the state for the input whatever we a user will be writing that will be stored in this state so i can create that with an empty string initially and similarly i can do that for the description i can use new description so to differentiate yeah set new description yeah the empty string then after that i can assign these states inside the inputs so first i'll be writing the value attribute and then i'll be assigning uh, the state in the value new title yeah that's one uh, then I can use the on change function on change method inside it. So this is an event on change event in which we can set the state wherever the user types anything. This is nothing but uh, the event when user types anything, then this event will be having our value. So to, so we are uh, getting that value from this event. Set new title. I'll be assigning the title with e dot target dot value target dot value so that's it similarly i'll be doing this for the description i can copy the same thing and i'll just be changing the things so i can change it inside the description yeah in here i can change it to description new description and then this one will be set new description yeah and then i can assign one handler or on click handler so we can actually execute some function on it whenever this button is clicked so this function will be executed so i can use handle add add to do you can copy this and i can create this function i can create any arrow function as well you can create any function inside that first of all i'll be creating one object which will store uh, the new to do item which will store the title the title will be the current state of the title new title comma description and uh, i can set it to new description yeah. now i'll be making the copy of the previous uh, state array in which our all to do list will be there so i'll be making one copy first then we'll be updating the state so i can make copy with the name updated to do array maybe and then inside that to make a copy of the previous array or previous state array i'll be using triple dot and then the state name which is all to do's so it is an array that we are making copy in this updated to do array and inside that i can update uh, push the new item which is this new to do item 
then it will be updated with the previous value as well as this new value so i can push the new to do item in here yeah now i can set the state to set to do's inside that i can use this array which is updated to do array now we need to ex render this to all to do's array because right now we are just hard coding the data which is this list this list should come when after executing the all to do's all to do's list or the array then we can make use of by using map function in it and i can get the item in map inside the arrow, arrow function of map and inside that i can also get the index of the item i can use return inside that i can paste the same thing which i copied in that we need to change something first of all we have to give some key because whenever you are entering any uh, list or with the map so you have to specify the key otherwise it will not recognize the uh, items uniquely so we'll be assigning index as a key and inside that h3 i'll not be writing this hard coded text task one instead i'll be showing the uh, title of the actual content or actual uh, object which we put so remember that we have a title property inside the item which uh, like this object we stored and inside that we stored this in a title property and the description in a description property that we are actually accessing from the array yeah so inside the object in uh, from the object i'll be accessing the description as well yeah for now this is completed let me just save it and show you what what is happening now let it compile and then it will be executed there so if i refresh that so you can see that it is gone but if i add something new by using for example uh, gym workout and i can add a description i have to work out at 5 am if i add this then that will be populated in the ui you can see that it is populated and the description is also there similarly i can add for the other one as well write a diary for example i have to write a diary at 11 pm maybe add so you can see that it is populating the ui so this we have done but the one uh, one problem is there whenever i refresh this page so the previous uh, task is lost so that you cannot see now you can see it is lost so how can we uh, persist that and uh, get the data from the local storage or how can we save that into the local storage so it remains after the refresh as well so for that we'll be going into the handle add to do function and after setting the state i'll be storing that inside the local storage by using local storage dot set item okay so if i if i use uh, set item then i have to specify the key and then the value which i want to store inside the inside this key so i can directly store some value updated to do array but uh, that won't work because we cannot make access of this we cannot use this let me just show you how let me just save it and show you what i want to tell you so it will be stored not as an array but uh, instead it will store it as an object object uh, type that we cannot make use of so let me just uh, show you the local storage first so inside the local storage you see nothing right if i add something for example gym 
test for example add so you can see that the, it is stored as an object object property like object object value that we don't want actually we cannot make use of this that's why uh, whenever you want to store something uh, uh, like whenever you want to store an object or an array that then you have to uh, string of stringify this and for that we can use the global uh, object which is json json dot stringify yeah so what it, it will do is and then inside the stringify method you have to pass the array which is every array or object if if it is uh, different then you can pass object as well but in my case it is array so i'll be passing this array what this will do is it will store uh, this array as as a string not as an object okay so let me just store it save it Now, if I just add this, so you can see that it is showing us the array and it is stored as a string. But we can't make use of it. That's why we have to use it inside inside an inside a use effect function or use effect hook so that we can use use of and use effect will be I'll be using use effect whenever the page is rendered first time so for that we'll be checking whether the local storage is having some item or not then we'll be populating the uh, local storage that we are going to do let, let me just import use effect as well use effect yeah now inside use effect this will be uh, run whenever we refresh the page and first time this function will be run use effect and then inside that i can create one variable which is save to do or anything you can write inside that i'll be uh, getting the data by from the local storage by using local storage dot get item for first for setting the item you will be using a set item method and for getting the item you will be using get item method inside that you can specify the uh, key what is the which is to do list in your case so we uh, will be getting this as a string so we have to convert it to an array back to an array because uh, our data is is a type of array so that's we have to do for that we'll be using json dot parse so when you want to uh, convert that back into array and ob or array or object you will be using json dot parse and if you want to store that Inside the local storage, you will be stringify that by using JSON dot stringify. So JSON dot parse will uh, convert the local storage data into an array. Then we'll be checking if saved item saved to do is there. Save to do item is there. Then we'll be uh, setting the to do list. Set to dos. You can write. Yeah. In set to dos, we'll be saving uh, the updating the array with this uh, save to do array or, or whatever the item we got from the local storage that we are taking we are making this check uh, because if nothing is there in the local storage we will not be uh, assigning the empty thing or null inside the save to do's array because actually we are rendering the things so that's why it might give us array uh, if we store null there because uh, on null we cannot perform the map operation that's why uh, if the item is there if the array is there then we'll be setting that to do's and if it is not there then we'll not be making anything it will remain an empty array initially which we like set here so it will be remain that it will remain that so i think we have completed the things let me just save it and show you uh, how the local storage is working now let me just close this one you can see that it is showing us two times because the items are repeated that's why let me just delete the local storage first the previous data and then we'll be deleting this and then let's restart and do everything 
once again so if i add write a diary here let me just write i have to write a diary at 11 pm if i click on this add that's added right if i refresh this page that will not get lost because we are getting the data from the local storage so now it will not lost whatever you will write here or whatever the task you have added, that will not be lost if you refresh the page so that we have completed so we have make you made use of this add button and we have you made use of local storage as well in the next video we'll be talking about this delete functionality that uh, how can we delete the item from the local storage as well and from this to-do list so let's meet in the another one thank you for watching